Yep, guys, these two green machines still running strong. It's been about two months now, so I figured I'd do an update on how this long-term test is going. Again, for a quick refresher, the machine on the left is mining solo, and the one on the right is mining pool. And we're gonna see how each method works out long-term, but also, if you have bought one of these K0 Pro green miners from Ice River back earlier this year when they came out, how much will you have earned if you hodl cast but until the next bull cycle? So like 2028, 2029. Uh, you know, long-term test. Our solo miner has gotten out to a very, very large lead after two months over the pool miner, um, which is the opposite of the initial uh, one week check-in where we had yet to find a block with the solo miner, but it has been chugging them out. So let's head on over to the computer. So we're in the computer now. I have a couple tabs open, uh, one for each of those two miners. So I got, you know, the pool page and the Casper wallet open. So let's dive into it. Uh, so this one is our solo miner. So you can see it's been still averaging right around 200, just like it should be. Again, these aren't overclocked. The point of this is to see if you don't overclock it, you know, you just set it, forget it. And, uh, you know, that should help with longevity too you know, how, where are we going to be in a couple of years? So, um, like I had mentioned, uh, just a few moments ago, the solo miner has come out to a commanding lead. So let's take a look at that. You can see the total paid 533.96 CASPA, which is almost a hundred dollars. So we're still nowhere near ROI on this unit. Um, compared to though on the pool side, which is only at 400. So, um, and you can see we're about 11% to our next payout, um, but that's about $70. So definitely the pool side has been falling behind, and that's because our solo miner has been hitting blocks. Um, we've Our average is really high right now, but that's because uh, Casper Pool only calculates your average over the last 30 days. So we did have a little bit of a dry spell, uh, but prior to that, you can see if I go over to... Um, if, you, if I go over to the payouts page, you can see all these payouts. So there was, um, in those first couple weeks, actually, we were on a roll. We hit four blocks in like a couple weeks span there, which was way above average. Like, I think my average effort was like 20% or something. And then we had a long dry spell, which got us to seven, nine. So almost actually a little over a month without a block. And now we're... Uh, now we're hovering right around our 65% effort. Um, so it's been a couple weeks since our last block. But yeah, overall, you know, it has output about 133, 134 ca more CASPA than our uh, pool miner at the moment. So we've definitely had some good luck. And then, um, again, this will only show blocks in the last 30 days, which we only have one. Um, so I can't show you all of them. But uh, that's kind of what's been going on there. So let's hop on over to the other pool page. So this is our pool miner again, still averaging. Um, this one seems to be averaging a slightly higher hash rate than my other unit consistently. It's usually around 205 to 210, whereas the other one is always right around 200. So a um, little more silicon lottery here. Uh, but you can see, like I said, a 400 CASPA has been earned so far. If we go over to our payouts, you'll see all our payouts. And I really like this graph they have here, uh, which I don't get to see on the other one because I don't get paid out consistently. But you can see how, um, you know, our earnings per day have dropped considerably. Like about a month ago was still getting about five and a half CASPA per day, even six on some days, it looks like. Uh, whereas right now we are down to almost only three CASPA a day. So rewards are definitely drying up uh, for the KS0 Pro, I mean, whether that's solo mining or pool, it doesn't really matter. And then it should theoretically average out. But rewards are definitely going down. Um, you can see how much I'm earning per block is getting very, very small. Um, and blocks that this guy has found. So this guy found, wow, actually two blocks on the same day. So that's pretty interesting. Um, again, this is only in the last 30 days. Overall, uh, my pool miner, I believe, is now at, I think, four blocks. So it has found one less than 
um, my other unit. But since I can only go back 30 days in their GUI here, I can't really truly compare that. So I just have to compare straight earnings. And right now, um, Solar Miner is killing it, really. Um, but it has had a recent dry spell. Um, we'll see how it, you know, a couple dry spells and, you know, the pool miner could get back into the future. Again, these are my wallets. So you can see right now that the one has 533, as mentioned, 534 about, and it's about $95 worth of CASPA. So not the ROI value yet. Another one is at 400 CASPA, which is about $70 and obviously even less close to ROI, but uh, honestly, they'll probably get to ROI eventually. These were pretty cheap units. I think it was, uh, I don't remember what it was, uh, like 300 and yeah, $339, 300, $349, sorry for the green edition, the special edition. So, uh, you know, we'll get to probably 350 eventually. Uh, it'll take some time, but we'll, we'll probably get there. Uh, so that's all for a brief update on here. Like, uh, so curious on your guys' thoughts so far. Again, the solo miner has been getting lucky. It's uh, even though its solo effort average is really high right now. Again, this is just the last 30 days. Uh, but overall, in the two months, the solo miner has had pretty good luck. I mean, we are definitely ahead of where we should be because again, the pool miner—that is the point of this. The pool miner is essentially guaranteed earnings. Like the. There's no luck involved here. This is just what you get. I mean, I guess there's pool luck, but K1 uh, Casper pool or K1 pool, any of the major pools are so big at this point that their earnings are very consistent. So uh, luck is hardly a factor at this point. So um, as long as the solo miner has paid more than what my pool miner has, if this that means the solo miner has had better luck than um, being on a pool any major pool at the moment so that's where everything stands you know comment down below your thoughts on this so far Again, i'm going to do this for the long term it'll probably be quite a while before i t check in again on this um i thought it'd be good just to have a second follow-up video and a somewhat respectable time afterward but you know these are for the long haul so it'll probably be six months a year before i update on this again or actually you know uh, it'll be about that long unless one of these like pays itself off sooner I guess that would be a good time to check in is, you know, if one of these hits ROI, that's, uh, that'll probably be a good check-in point. So again, like, subscribe, comment down below, curious on your guys' thoughts and how your guys' K0 pros are doing. And that's all I got until next time.